Hi, this is Sam Stone with the CBR here at New York Comic Con 2022 with the cast of Doom Patrol. You can catch season four on HBO Max on December 8th. Guys, thanks for taking the time to visit with me. Oh, pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Well, you know, the last we saw of Laura, she was, she had finally, like, she's on a, redempt, a path for redemption coming out of season three. Mm -hmm. Like, how is it like exploring those uh, lengths of the character as we, as we move into season four? A path of redemption as in she might be moving towards being a decent human being. There's always that chance. <laughs> there is the chance of that, yes. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe a happened, snowball's though. chance in hell. <laughs> um, um, yeah, you know, that's where her uh, challenge dramatically comes into season four. Um, the turmoil and the push and the pull of to do the next right thing can always be a challenge for somebody that never really ever wants to do the next right thing because it, it goes against her uh, natural instincts to be bad, <laughs> uh, to be a bad slash ass. Um, so she is, um, yeah, she's, she's trying to also um, feel a part of something, feel uh, that she's part of this new family and to try and fit in. And in order to do that, you have to unfortunately compromise. And that is hard uh, for most of us because we all want it on our terms and we want you to behave like this because I will tell you that that's the way to do it. That, that's no way to make friends, uh, win, uh, win friends or influence people. Um, so, uh, so there you go. So Javan, I think, probably has a lot to say about Laura. And I'm glad you reminded me that that's what her name was because I had no idea <laughs> who that was at the beginning. I, but now I was Laura. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Laura good, DeMille. Good, good. Laura DeMille. There you go. That's the fool. Cause not Rachel. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, let, let, and let's talk about it. get that. Yeah. We'll yeah. have to it's explain it. Okay, joke. we're going to have to explain it. It's an inside joke, but let's explain it. Do we have time? Bye, bye, no? Bye. Alrighty, it's let's move time. on. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> the last interview we did. Oh, um, no, we are going there. <laughs> my friend Michelle Gomez here was trying to Remember explain her name. a storyline that I was involved with, which uh, my name is April. Bulby. And uh, she said, uh, yeah, and when Rachel and I, and I was like, Who, who's Who Rachel? Who the fuck is Rachel? Who's Rachel? <laughs> she forgot my name. So April <laughs> is the star of the show. <laughs> I have worked with her for two years, and I don't know her name. No. So now you can laugh with us. Okay. But it rhymes, so. Yeah. It was, it was Rita and April conjoined is Rachel, in fairness. That's the, that's the fusion. That's the portmanteau. The let's talk about Victor. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that Phew. fusion. Victor Seibold. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the, uh, I always use the civilian names for whatever reason. Anyway, yeah, so with Victor, I feel like talking to his mom completely changed his outlook. It changed his relationship with his father. It changed how he saw himself and the accident that made him cyborg. How is it exploring those threads? And that's just huge personality shift coming into season four yeah no it's been it's been a blast to be honest it's been a great opportunity for him to actually go on the journey of discovery he's trying to work out who he is you know for someone who's been forced to be someone um and i don't know if anyone can relate but you know a lot of us are forced to be someone based on our environment based on how we've grown up and you're put into a world where essentially it becomes survival and that's what it was for um for silas it was about how do i allow my son to survive and that you know that big speech that he gives in season three where he tells him the story as to why um but it, it it's still not enough for vic and he wants to you know be on his own terms and he wants to go on the self-discovery and allow himself to work out what it actually means to be vic stone as opposed to cyborg so this season is is um that opportunity to do that for him to go on that journey and in self-discovery see what it actually means to be a human um and also just be a black man you know um and connect connect with himself, connect with what he knows and, and try and discover and work out whether or not he is in the right place. And, and we get to do that this season and it's gonna be really fun, yeah. April, we've really seen Rita step up into a leadership role ever since Niles Calder bit the, bit the big one and then had his zombie head eaten. So. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> How is it taking point with the Doom Patrol? And really like taking, when, when we first saw Rita, it was almost like what if Catherine Hepburn had stretchy powers? And now, now she's the head of this weird, wacky team. Like, how is it like taking her into this direction? Um, well, I think uh, in this season, Rita gets a little carried away with her leadership role. As a good actor does, she really, she really bites off more than she can chew. So she becomes uh, very controlling, and she wants it done a certain way. And she's very interested in punishing this one, which she calls dog shit McGivens. 
That is her code name. <laughs> you heard it so um, that's uh, Rita's bite this year. Um, is like trying to forgive um, Madame Rouge, mm -hmm. and um, she is, is very difficult. And and like Javan was saying, like he was like your character's been put into a position which you didn't ask for and yeah. i think like the doom patrol everyone was given their powers they didn't ask for them you know like it's this constant theme of like trying to overcome and trying to accept who you are and and not be victim to uh you know what happened to us um and yeah. how, how do we evolve you know and i think even now when you talk about you know everyone's being given their powers there's a big thing in that the characters don't see that. They mm -hmm. see that they've been given their curse. They've been yeah. given something which is they're anti heroes. They don't want to be heroes, you know? And if any if they could have their wish, it would be that they didn't have these so called powers. Um, and so that that discovery of really coming to the place where now in this season we're able to really look at, okay, well what does it mean to actually take on these powers and actually uh, accept them, them, yeah, mm -hmm. and embrace them, yeah, and for the first time we get to do that and yeah. band together as the Doom Patrol. The Doom Patrol. <laughs> the <laughs> Doom Patrol. The Doom and Gloom Patrol at times, yeah. but you know, and <laughs> it, to build off, M Michelle, you had mentioned it's a family. Then there's a shared trauma that that mm. that has that brings this family together, and if there's a name for that shared pain, it's Niles Calder. Yeah. Like, how is it like exploring that as a family, especially with these guys two seasons deep, and between the between the two of you, like four seasons deep now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's, um, well for Vic, it's, it's slightly different. I think he's come in, you know, with Uncle Niles. And it's like, right. he, he was someone actually sort of saved me from my father. And then seeing and discovering everything that he's done to my now new family and my friends, it's, it's heartbreaking. Um, but at the same time, we, we do get an opportunity to hear from him as, as to why and, and, and work that out. But it doesn't change the fact that it was done. Um, yeah. But yeah, we, we get to you know discover that, and um, I don't know how it feels for you guys, because yeah, it is a very different perspective for Vic, because it was never the, the crazy doctor, it was Uncle Niles for me. Right, uh, it's like an abusive father, you know, like mm. with Munchausen, <laughs> you're like, I love him, but I, I hate, hate him, him at yeah. the same time, yeah. And I just rewatched a little bit of season three, and you come in and you're like, I don't know anything about Niles Calder, but I know when I hear his name, like I get tight and I, and you I like kill him. your body elephant yeah, is like, yes, yeah, I wanted you to throw yes, teacups. teacups. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so there was a sort of gut reaction that I would have to the notion of Niles, mm -hmm. but, but my character uh, didn't have any relationship with him other than she was coded to destroy him. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering if you could speak on your relationship because if there's anybody that could get along with Rita on her terms, it's Laura. I mean, she's the time traveler, the steampunk Amelia Earhart. Like, how is it finding your chemistry on set together? It was easy. Yeah. It was so easy. <laughs> it, was great. it was like, uh, this gal, she's, you're, wow, she's, you're phenomenal <laughs> oh, uh, person so to nice. play with and act against. And um, I am only as good as she is, and uh, she's amazing. That's so I'm um, amazing. It was very, um, um, we allowed each other the safety to play, and um, it was very comfortable. It was immediately comfortable. Yeah, it was amazing, and and also like I I'm kind of like my character in a way. Like I want to do it right, and I want to I want to get the words right, and then uh, Michelle comes in, and she's she's an actor. She's like, let's play. Let's like get off the words. Like let's ha find out what the scene is really about. And so that kind of loosened me up which was great we had a, a great scene in season four where we're drunk together once again all we do is booze yeah. together <laughs> uh, <laughs> and and she just ad-libbed and i was like okay we gotta get loose with this and and then you form this lovely moment you know that wasn't on the page i think was mm -hmm. really important yeah well on that boozy note <laughs> that's my time go get a drink yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is uh sam stone with cbr here at new york comic-con 2022 with the cast of doom patrol season four on hbo max december 8th i'm gonna go get a drink yeah booyah <laughs>